Hey everyone, it's Joe. Welcome back to Human Fluence. Today we're going to talk about life on Earth. Though brief in the cosmic timeline, is rich with lessons and transformative tests. Now, whether you're a nihilist who believes this is all pointless and we just end up as worm food, or someone who feels connected to the divine and is aware of the spiritual realm, the journey of self-discovery is universal. Perhaps you belong to a church that teaches redemption and the need to be saved. Or you may follow the path of Eastern philosophies, embracing reincarnation and karma. Maybe you're a skeptic, relying solely on science and reason. Or an existentialist, creating your own meaning in a seemingly indifferent universe. You could be a follower of New Age spirituality, exploring the synchronicities of the cosmos. Or an agnostic, questioning but open to possibilities. No matter what your belief system, the imperative to know thyself transcends all boundaries. Gnosis, the search for truth within ourselves and the world, is a journey that calls to each of us. The true magic lies not just in individual revelations, but in the alchemy that happens when we align with our true selves and harmonize with the universe's rhythms. This magic becomes real when we face the sheer test of evolution, grappling with our roles in love, attachment, and realizing our purpose goes beyond the physical realm. As we navigate life's challenges, we evolve together, pushing boundaries and redefining our shared destinies. From ancient teachings to contemporary wisdom, the universal mantra resonates. Together we release, grow, and transcend. In our shared joys and sorrows, we find the essence of humanity. Each test, each chapter in our cosmic narrative is a stepping stone, guiding us toward our spiritual peak. These aren't just challenges, but opportunities to evolve, align with the cosmos, and truly understand the depths of our souls. Brace yourselves, it's test time in the spiritual classroom. This isn't the kind of test where you can peek at your neighbor's answers. This is all about the journey inward. Here are the tests we must face. The test of self-knowledge. We begin with the ancient oracle at Delphi's wisdom. Know thyself. This test is about introspection. We begin with the ancient oracle's wisdom, know thyself. This test is about introspection, peeling back the layers of ego and expectation to reveal our true nature. The universe often presents situations that challenge our self-perceptions, pushing us to greater depths of awareness. And as we embark on this quest of self-discovery, we piece together the greater puzzle of humanity's shared story, confronting our fears, desires, and attachments, which allows us to harness the collective magic within our interconnected spirits. The test of detachment. As we delve deeper, we encounter this test. Our nature compels us to cling to what we treasure, possessions, people, or ideas. But true growth means mastering the art of letting go. Think of a tree in autumn, releasing its leaves without fear, trusting in spring's rejuvenation. When we free ourselves from our deepest attachments, we create space for new experiences, bonds, and insights. The journey is about balancing, grasping, and releasing, unlocking the gates to inner freedom. Next, the test of patience. Following detachment, we learn the vital lessons of patience. In today's fast-paced world, the cosmos often whispers for us to slow down and savor the moment. This challenge is not just about waiting, but how we wait. Are we consumed by impatience, or do we find solace in the present moment? Patience reminds us that everything has its cycle. Just as a seed grows beneath the soil before emerging, 
Our dreams and hopes have their time of fruition. Embracing patience is about trusting the universe's perfect timing. Interwoven with patience is the test of faith. There will be times when our world seems to unravel. Moments when it feels like the universe has forsaken us. But it's in these moments that our faith in a higher power, the grand design of the cosmos, and our inner strength is tested and refined. Can you sustain belief even without evidence? Can you stay faithful even when the path is unclear? With faith, we also have a test of endurance. Our journey isn't always calm and reflective. Sometimes the universe demands action and persistence. This tests our tenacity and will. Can we keep going, even when the terrain is tough? Endurance teaches us to push through adversity with determination. Next, the test of humility. As we endure, we must also embrace humility. Gaining wisdom and insights can lead to arrogance, a belief in our spiritual supremacy. The universe and its wisdom presents challenges to ground us, reminding us of humility's value. True humility is recognizing that despite our knowledge, there's always more to learn. The journey of learning is endless. And what about the test of mortality and continuity of consciousness? In the grand scheme of existence, our lives are fleeting moments in a vast continuum. Yet these moments are rich with meaning, each a vital chapter in the eternal journey of the soul. Believing that our consciousness transcends this mortal coil can transform our view of life and death. Imagining each lifetime as a single thread in a grand tapestry, woven together to create a picture of cosmic beauty. Death isn't an end but a transition, a passage to new experiences and deeper understanding. The belief in the continuity of consciousness helps us face mortality with grace, knowing that each farewell is just a prelude to another hello in the cycle of rebirth. Living this way urges us to live fully, love deeply, and grow continuously. Knowing that the lessons we learn and the love we give ripple across time. These are but a few of the hard lessons we face, aside from all the material pursuits that come with our own inherent human problems. We have soul problems too. Our spiritual tests go hand in hand with our daily struggles reminding us that growth and learning are lifelong endeavors. Human Fluence, out. <laughs>